Hello, we are on day 21 in our journey with Jesus. Um, we're going to be looking at Matthew chapter 20, verse 30. And two blind men sitting by the road, hearing that Jesus was passing by, cried out, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. This is an interesting story. One of the things that we see about it is that it's the second story of two blind men in Matthew's gospel. And both of these stories relate to healing miracles. Just so you know, these kind of like two stories um, of, a, of a similar kind happen in both Matthew, um, Mark, and, and also actually in Luke, in all three of the synoptic gospels. Um, in Mark's gospel, for example, we have a similar telling of blind man stories, but there's only one blind man in each one. We see that in Mark chapter 8. Um, verses 22 to 26, and also Mark chapter 10, verses uh, 45 to 52. So these, um, the, these two blind men stories in Matthew's gospel form a sort of bookend for the theme of discipleship, which is emphasized in this section. There are a couple of contrasts to consider. In other words, when I talk about discipleship, I'm talking about what it means to be a disciple, what it means to follow Jesus. In the first story, Jesus tells them, and back in Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, he tells the, the two blind men there, it shall be done to you according to your faith. And what's awesome is they're healed. But then it's kind of, it's curious that they go on to disobey Jesus' command not to tell anyone. That's in Matthew 9, verse 30 to 31. And while they receive healing, they miss out on following Jesus and being disciples. We don't see them follow him. In trying to spread the message, they are disobedient, becoming hindrances rather than helpers. It's like they think they know best or they know better than Jesus. They've determined that something is more important than obeying Jesus, and that's sharing their story. And Jesus actually has said it's not the time for that. It's just, instead, they need to listen to him. In the second story, however, we see the corrective. The men receive healing, and furthermore, they follow Jesus. Obedience through following Jesus wherever he goes is a major theme in Matthew. Uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28 says, um, Truly I say to you that you have followed me in the regeneration of um, you who have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And you see that idea of following Jesus connected with um, the twelve apostles' place. But actually, the most important aspect of discipleship seems to be obedience and following Jesus. Just example, Matthew 7, 21 to 23, Jesus says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And then it's, it's really interesting that in verse 24 of chapter 7, Jesus talks about the the two foundations, the one who builds his house on the rock and the one who builds his house on the sand. The one who builds his house on the rock is the one who hears his words and acts on them. He obeys them. Uh, and so we do not want to be a person who builds our house, builds our life on disobedience to God's word. It's not enough just to hear. We also need to we also need to do it. So the most important aspect of discipleship seems to be following Jesus. He is our healer, our deliverer. He's our God with us, and he's our king. It's not enough to receive from him. And that's what we see with these two blind men. They were healed. Um, but we, as in, we must re receive from him, but we must receive him. And that's the most important thing of discipleship is that we're with him. He expects our devotion and obedience wherever that takes us. Once he opens our eyes, we have a responsibility to obey and follow him. And just as a note, it's kind of like the way the Good Samaritan, for example, is followed up with the stories of, the, of Mary and Martha. And remember, Martha was all concerned about serving Jesus, and Mary was the one sitting at Jesus' feet. And it's to show, you know what, service is really important. Doing good things is really important. But there's nothing more important than sitting at Jesus' feet and learning from him and learning to put it into practice. So... Um, I mean, the question that we need to ask is with these blind men, first of all, is has Jesus opened our eyes? Can we see clearly? Do, can we hear him also and hear his voice? Um, and then the next question is, will we obey him? 
Will you follow Jesus wherever he may lead? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for having mercy on us by sending us Jesus. Open our eyes more and more so that we can follow closely after you. In Jesus' name, amen.